G'day guys, today we're going to talk about fonts and the three basic font format functions, bold, italic and underline. Say that three times fast. Uh, the steps we're going to take today uh, include six tags, the header tag, the paragraph tag, the bold tag, the italic tag, the underline tag and of course the tag that centers all those lines together. The process that we're going to do is we're going to recreate these five lines of text here as they look here from basic text in HTML. So, this is the page I've already created. You'll notice that the text is already in place, uh, unformatted. Now, if you were to look at this in a website right now, it would look like this. Now, as you can see, uh, it's one line, non-formatted. It's an absolute mess. Pretty much not readable. If you had a whole page that looked like this, you know, it would it would be pretty much useless. So, what we need to do is add the appropriate tags to each of these lines to make them stand out the way we need to. Now the first two lines of course we're going to use what's known as the header tag. Now the header tag uh, essentially it tells the browser that the, the, the text within it is a headline so it's going to be made bigger, it's going to be made bolder. The original way of doing this was to manually set the font size, manually set it to bold uh, and you know while that does work and can look exactly the same, not recommended because uh, the new, uh, the new the head, heading tags uh, are brilliant for search engine optimization, which is why I'm including them here. And it's basically open bracket, H1, close bracket. Now, there are a number of heading tags. It's H1, H2, H3, etc. Uh, the higher the H tag, the smaller the font size. H1 is the, is the, ba is the biggest. So that's the, pardon me, the number one header tag is H1. And at the end, you want to, of course, close the tag. Now, whenever you close an HTML tag, it's always bracket, forward slash, and then you repeat the tag. So, bracket H1 is closed with bracket slash H1, like so. Now, the second line, of course, we need to do a, a heading font as well. So, again, we're going to repeat the process. We're going to have H1, and, of course, we're going to have H1. You'll notice that uh, my screen keeps popping up and filling things in automatically. I use Dreamweaver as my HTML editing software. Um, you can do this in Notepad. Uh, if you have Dreamweaver or you, you're thinking about getting HTML editing software, I do recommend Dreamweaver because it is, in my mind, the best you can get. Uh, and if you're working in code, as you've noticed, it can save a lot of time by fitting in these things for you. As well as that, as you'll notice soon, uh, it can help when aligning t uh, text because it will have a pop-up, so you don't have to type everything, but we'll come to that in a minute. Okay, this third line of text here, we need to set as bold. So, we need to for a start, we need to start these lines with what's known as a paragraph tag. So we're going to have, again, open bracket, P. Now, P means paragraph, uh, and we're going to add the end of that, we're going to have close bracket. What that'll, what that'll tell your browser is that this line of text between these two tags is a par paragraph on its own. So above it and below it, there's going to be a space between lines. Okay. Now because it needs to be bold, we need to add the bold tag. Now there are two ways of doing this. The original way was to simply open bracket, B, close bracket. While that still does work in most browsers, strongly not recommended because it has too many limitations. Instead, we're going to use a strong tag. Exactly the same thing uh, in almost every browser, it'll show it as bolded text. <coughs> Basically, strong simply tells your browser that that piece of text has to be strongly emphasized. And again, at the end, strong. Now, because tags are, tags need to be in order, so if you open with a paragraph and then follow strong, if you want to close it uh, after the text, strong, and then the paragraph. So if you look at it this way, from the inside out, so they have the text, and you have strong, and so forth. That's essential. If you change the order of that, the code won't work, because it'll look for this, it'll, it'll basically, if you put this strong tag at the end here, uh, it's essentially, browser's going to think, well, this doesn't work, because it doesn't have a closing tag, even though it does. So make sure you have them in the right order. Now this third line has to be italic. Now again, you want to open open with the paragraph tag. Now, the italic tag has two ways. The original way was simply that, open bracket, I, close bracket. We don't recommend that simply because it, again, has too many limitations. Instead, we're going to use EM. Now what EM means is emphasize text. Every browser that I know of is going to put that as an italic font. 
simple as that. It works the same as the strong, it's just emphasized, strongly emphasized. Again, at the end of the line, close the uh, italic tag, close the P tag. And that's going to work. Now the third line, again, open the paragraph, and now you've got the underline tag, which is quite simply you. This is the only tag that I'm aware of that hasn't changed. Um, again, at the end, close the underline tag, close the paragraph tag. Now this here, that's going to format those five lines as you need them. And they'll look exactly like this. This is what we've done. Header tag for the first two lines, bold, italic, underline, but it is left aligned. So we need now to make one more step, and that is to change the code so that it's center aligned. So you need to edit each of these initial tags, the two H1 tags and the three opening paragraph. So you're going to go H1, space, so this is before that closing bracket, space, align, and this is where you'll see that uh, Dreamweaver comes up because you have these options of uh, things you can add uh, without having to type them. So if you double click on a line, it'll put it in there. Now, equals, always have an equals, and a little speech mark in the center, and then close the speech mark. So essentially, you have H1, that's the heading tag, space, align, equals center within speech marks and then the close bracket and that there is that there is your whole opening h1 tag so instead of h1 here we've just appended to it to make it longer so again align equals center same thing again you want to repeat this process with the paragraph tags so again p space align equals how so let's spell it right center Etc. Uh, you can copy and paste because if you work in code a lot, you will find yourself copying and pasting on a regular basis. Uh, check the code H1, center, center, and they'll all look the same. And what that will do is, oh, you know, notice I have a mistake here. Now, this is actually good because mistakes, you know, you learn from them. So we'll go back here and we'll find where we went wrong. Uh, it was the second line that we have an error. H1, ah, there it is there, spelling mistake. Now we'll check it. And we have HTML, and it'll look very similar to the initial page. There you go. Right, now in summary, headings and headlines should be done using the head header tags H1, H2. Google and search engines love these. If they see text with an H1 tag or an H2 tag, they know it's important and they know it's a headline and they will use whatever's in there to help rank your website, so do use them. The bold tags should always be done using the strong tag instead of the bold tag. Uh, a lot less limit uh, limitations and is it these days considered the way to do it. Italic tags, same thing again, use EM instead of the I tag. Same thing, no, virtually no limitations will work in any browser. The underline is simply done with U for underline, that's one that you never be able to forget. To define lines you need to use either the hard break which is BR or a paragraph which is P. Uh, same thing again. There are a lot of other ways of doing that. Right now we're just going to stick with these two. I will explain other ways in, in future videos uh, and if you want to know something in particular you know, be sure to contact me and let me know and I'll create a video for you. To align the text you need to use after say the P tag align equals open speech marks, then the alignment left, center, or right. Now if you have right, if you have right align, it's going to put everything to the right of the page. And then of course close the speech mark and then the close bracket. So that's as simple as that. This uh, was created by me, Sam Hansen, for 6C2K.com. Uh, if you have a request for any particular video or any type of uh, website design tips or um, anything to do with say WordPress or Joomla, get in touch with me, uh, get in touch with me and let me know. I'm more than willing to uh, to create these videos and help you. Thank you very much.